In this episode, we are going to learn about me, George Washington Carver. Wow. You're doing another costume? Okay, Joey Washington Carver. Are you ready to start the costume? Yeah. Before, Before we, we get, get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is, is not Ace, so it's George Washington Carver. <laughs> okay. Go okay, on. go ahead and play me and Ace's theme song. You keep Your kid professors, and they got the energy Teaching other kids all about black history So entertaining, and so educational Time to tune in, uh, if you ready, here we go Bringing you the facts right away Talking about everyone from Rosa Parks to MLK If you ready, let's go Don't get no better, uh, two kids in the sis Your kid professors, let's go If you're George Washington Carver, tell us everything, every single thing about you. I was born in a small farm in Missouri. I don't know what years I was born, but they think I was born in 1864. That's a long time ago. And wait, what? You don't know what year are you? But my mom's name was Mary. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. My mom was a slave owned by a man named Moses. Wait, Moses and Susan Carver. One night, slave riders came and stole you and your mom to be slaves. Oh, and also, I heard that Mr. Carver, Mr. Carver, came looking for you and he saw you on the side of the road like he saw you on the side of the road and found you so he he um not but he didn't find your mom but son it's the code did not have any kids so i became their son this is when slavery was abolished abolished well also abolished right just for you guys to know is it's it means that when slaves were free, you, they taught me how, my, and me and my brother how to read and write. I know you were interested in animals, plants, and you love to read the Bible. Growing up, they called me Carver George. George? Yeah, Carver George. That's a good name. When I started to, I took the last name Carver. Then I did the W for my middle name. You made it up or was that your actual middle name? Yes. So, which one? I made up my middle name. My ma last name came from slave owner. I know you love school and I know you also had to move to Canada for a black school. Yes, that is true. And I love science and art. I took classes at college in Ireland. It was there the teachers told you, you said, you said combine art and science to study to become a body it's right yeah yeah I did I went to Iowa State for it I was the first black student there good for you okay you have a bachelor's and a master's degree then after you graduated you became the first professor at law state later Booker T Washington asked him to Teach the Black College to Skeegee College. Major, I mean Carver, what are you doing? Are you doing I'm something exciting? Yeah. Well, good thing I have an extra. It's called the tube and tube. And you do this. There's water in the tube. Look at. Can you pour it in mine? Uh, yeah, I'll try. Actually, put it over something. Okay. Put, no, put this. No, put that over something just in case. Yes, I did all of that. I would teach my class out on the farm so my students how to improve my, the crops. That's really cool. Peanuts. Lewis and Ellis, what are some of the uses of four peanuts that Mr. Carver created? Mr. Carver was a researcher and a scientist. He taught four African Americans how to have better nutrition. He taught them to take care of the earth 
so the earth would take care of them. Well, he discovered 300 uses of peanuts. Do you want us to name all 300? No, not all 300, but tell us what you know. Because there's no way you know all 300, right? Well, okay, we can name a few. He found ways that farming families could incorporate peanuts into their diets. For example, he encouraged, encouraged farmers to use peanut oil and peanut milk for cooking. He created peanut recipes for soups, cookie, and candy. He discovered that roasted ground peanuts could be used for coffee. Did you know peanut hearts were good feed for egg laying hens? The holes were be used to make bran and meal. The peanut plant could be dried and used as straw. Our family has a farm and they use some of Mr. Carver's inventions. Our, Our great, great uncles use crop rotation. Right now there's sunflower and kale and it used to be wheat. That helps the soy stay healthy and grow nutritious vegetables. Mr. Carver also invented medicines um, made of soybeans and peanuts. He encouraged farmers to rotate their crops. Mr. Carver invented so many things with peanuts. I think I, it would take the entire class to finish the list, but here's some other um, peanuts inventions he came up with. about Mr. Carver. Okay, I will. George Washington Carver. Fun facts. Did you know? Number one, he was born a slave in 1864. Mr. Carver was a black scientist known as the peanut man and the plant doctor. Number three, he attended college in Iowa and the, was the first black to attend the school. Number four, he created more than 300 products for the peanut plant, but is known for the one he didn't invent, peanut butter. Number five, he did invent peanut products, including clothes, dye, car fuel, cooking oil, saving cream. Number six, he also took interest in sweet potatoes and developed more than a hundred products based off of the plant. Number seven, Mr. Carver was the first black American to have a national park named after him. Last but not least, number eight, he believed that peanuts would fight holy What yeah. did you learn today? Let me tell you about George Washington Carver, uh -huh. the inventor and scientist in agriculture, uh, born into slavery. Yeah. His journey was amazing, left home so he could go pursue his education. His inventions were amazing, really he was a genius. Yeah. He created so many things, all of them from peanuts, sauces to oil, oh. paper, soap, cosmetics, peanut-based medicine, yeah. and that's just the beginning. He really changed the world and we gotta give him credit, yeah. George Washington Carver.